Hi, it's Bro 975 and welcome to Elite Dangerous on the Legacy version on Xbox. And today I had some fun in my absolutely favourite pirate ship. The Cobra Mark IV Shieldless is just a joy to pirate in because it's so weak. It tends to draw attention to itself by be being so weak it tempts traders into being brave and tempting traders into being brave means they hang around longer which means they can extract more cargo. Obviously it's slow, weak, has a very small hatchbreaker limpet, very small collector limpet, um, and is probably one of my worst pirate ships, but that's probably why it's my favourite. The clipper's too easy, the cutter's, well, it's a cope cutter, it's just too dull. Uh, the dropship and this are my two favourites by far. I mean, I like my crate pirate ship, it's really effective, but it's just so good. You know, it can actually win PvP fights against people. That thing's really awesome. Whereas this thing, th this thing is only designed for piracy. This is the only task it can do. It's literally no use in any other spectrum or field of, of endeavor. It's hopeless. Yeah, in terms of PvP, I mean, I've fought off uh, once or twice and I would be ganker, but most of the time I'm firing a few missiles and jumping away. Um, anyone with anything that takes drives out, like rail guns, high yield cannons, or anything like that, I'm gone straight away. Um, you know, if they're a good shot, silent ranks are not going to buy me enough time. Now, when it comes to robbing cutters, I have a major problem in this thing, in that it's almost impossible to rob a cutter unless I beat them in the interdiction before they submit, because they can submit in low wake faster than my hatchbreak Olympic can actually access their cargo hold. Hence why I built the clipper, because the clipper can rinse their cargo hold in, in a minuscule amount of time. The size 7A hatchbreak a little bit takes two seconds to hack things. Whereas the one on this takes a wee bit longer. I think it's more about six or seven seconds. So, you know, luckily for me, this guy didn't... Uh, so, well, this guy didn't want to be interdicted, fought the interdiction. And as he fought the interdiction and immediately boosted, I took that as non-compliance and immediately hatchbreaked him because it seemed only fair. And um, even though, and, and also he's younger than me, so you know, screw him, um, child. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I was able to get a little bit of cargo out of this gentleman, which is exactly what I'm here to do. I am a pirate, and um, yeah, it's great. Uh, the only thing I would say is the one pain with this ship is the amount of time it takes to collect the cargo afterwards is quite painful. I can only have one active collector limpet, and um, if you get that bug when they high wake or wake out, where it starts spinning around the cargo, which I got in this instance, it means I then have to slowly ram every bit of cargo I want to collect, which is a challenge and is something that can be quite annoying as you can see because they've jumped out of instance it kind of de-instances their cargo from me um, and i have to just nudge it to bring it back into instance to allow the uh collector limpus to do its thing uh this unfortunately meant i did waste a ton of cargo because as it gets lower and lower in health you know you have to be more and more gentle with your impacts on it <laughs> Yeah, it took a little while, but all but one ton was saved. So that's a nine ton haul, which is pretty decent for my little Cobra. Um, you know, I'm hardly that much of an inconvenience to a day, great big uh, cutter going backwards and forwards doing Melanja missions. But it is nice to remind people that, you know, when it pushed comes to shove, I am what, Matt Damon? Space Pirate. That's correct, I'm a space pirate. Now I could have continued to rob this guy because he didn't comply, but then equally I felt a bit guilty because I didn't really give him a chance to comply. As a, he didn't stop immediately, but I didn't type the command stop. I decided to go for the hatchbreak straight away because I was in my Cobra Mark IV. Had I been in my Clipper, I would have given him more chance because you know, he wouldn't have got away. But with the Cobra, you just gotta take the opportunity when you can get it. It's, it's more of a mugger than a pirate ship in a lot of times. You really have to get in there, in and out quick and steal whatever you can grab. But, you know, I decided to let him have the 24 hour pass in this case because, you know, it was just being nice to the guys over at Aero. And um, I'd done what I wanted to do, which was come over to Melanger, 
get a bit of piracy done, bring you guys some piracy content, and uh, that you know, piracy is still possible on the legacy version of Elite Dangerous, even with the uh, player base the way it is. And uh, yeah, that makes me a very happy little pirate, especially when I get to do it in my favorite little pirate ship. And I had a wonderful combat encounter, which I'm gonna bring to you in another video. So that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. And remember, everything's better.